Right then, this is Sharky from Sharkit. So today I'm going to show off the updates on the website. I'll just mute that. Right, yeah, so I've been doing some updates on the website and um, updating all the products and everything else. And I wanted to show off um, the process of basically buying your custom arcade from Sharkit. So what we'll do is we'll head direct to the website um, and what I'll show off today is different pricings and stuff like that, different products, different add-ons. I've gone through all the products on the website, updated all the um, accessories, stuff like that, all the way down to the shipping crates. So I'm trying to make things a lot, lot easier for you to purchase your custom arcade cabinet now um so if i just head into our category arcade machines we should have all the different styles of arcade cabinets and um, if there's a specific type of arcade machine you're looking for we do have our four player arcades there so it's all the different four player style arcade cabinets and then if we head to the ultimate deluxe control panel it's all our two player ultimate deluxe control panels we sorry up to our four player deluxe control panels um then we have our bar top selection all our different bar tops and then we have our pedestal two and ones which you can purchase our shark shooter with the pedestal we're waiting on an image to update that um product there but you can buy our pedestal kits as well then we do have our shark shooters so if there's a specific type of shark shooter you're after we have our shark shooters we also have the um <clears throat> shark shooter with the pedestal like i say we're looking at updating that sale post and then we have our stand-ups which is <clears throat> excuse me which is all our different stand-up styles between our standard stand-ups and our deluxe now we have a hard drive upgrade option as well so if you're just running a 16 terabyte build you can upgrade your drives and um, from the 16 terabyte all the way up to our 40 terabyte drive and then we have our free in one now the free in one's going to get some um design upgrade basically to ship this unit off i would have to trim a bit off the marquee area i would have to make the marquee area shorter that's for mainly um international shipping just because the machine is so tall um even laid down it wouldn't get through customs i think it's over 1.75 or 1.7 if it's over that then it won't go through customs basically it would mean the unit it'd have to be stripped down and so on and we are offering international shipping options as well um but i'll just go back and head to where we were free and one then we have our retro beast ready option so we have all our different um accessories and stuff um, and then we have an accessories page as well, which has our different accessories on there. And then a new option, which is our shipping crates. Now, usually <clears throat> when you purchase your unit, you pay for the shipping crate at the end. Any international shipping, it requires a shipping crate. Um, these shipping crates vary on the size of the unit. So we have the different sizes there for the shipping crate itself. Um, this is just to make sure your goods are well packaged. Um, the package of peanuts, stuff like that, um, it, it all comes free of charge. You just pay basically for the shipping crate itself. Each shipping crate is about £100 for the two-player ultimate deluxe control panel, the bar top, and then you have an option for a custom one. Now, a custom's anything bigger than the bar tops itself. Um, I will put the shooting option on there as well. Um, hey, uh, M. Bison, buddy. Yeah, so I will put an option for the sh gun kit as well. I've just realized that wasn't on there. Um, basically, I'll also go through the different shipping options and the rough cost and get you an idea of what it costs for shipping. Um, as I have a couple of websites there that we can get some quotes from live for shipping quotes and so on so let's head back 
and just take a look at the bar tops themselves so each sail post has been put up now generally i usually have on every category of arcade i have a sharkade custom arcade um you just if you want a custom design i just recommend you order that one um and then i know it's going to be a custom design if you order a smash brothers i generally ask anyways if you want a custom design but if you're interested in any of the designs we have up there you can order one direct from here pick the design pick the size and so on if you want a custom one i just recommend you go with the shark Aid custom arcade and then i'll ask you if you want a custom design or not generally do anyways when it comes to starting your build but this gives you an idea of what different designs we do have on the website i mean if you really want to see our designs um there's a lot a lot of stuff we haven't updated on the website as design wise go and check out our youtube channel and um, which should be we which are on now <coughs> um so let's head into the bar tops so if you're looking for a bar top we have different systems so we have two lower end systems which starts from the free terabyte to be honest i may even remove the free terabyte builds and only start from the eight terabyte and same goes with the 11 um but at the moment they're still up so you can purchase those units now if you're only looking for a system with 98,000 games um which has around 340 plus systems um you've got your mega drive super nintendo game boy atari all your retro classics you've got some pc titles as well like street fighter 5 tekken 7 um cophead and so on right so you've got the lower end build on our a terabyte setup and um, if you're wanting the ultimate package then i do recommend you go with our the actually this option should be removed because that's no longer available that gpu and um, it's just a 3060 so if you did end up ordering that i'd upgrade you to the 3060 anyways um, so if you wanted the ultimate package you would go start off with our base 16 terabyte build that would give you the rtx 3060 graphics card 16 gig of ddr4 ram and the ryzen 5 cpu now on our bar tops it's standard 120 gig i think now we're probably upgraded to a 256 just because the price um is roughly the same and it i might as well install a bigger drive just just for the sake of it and um, so you likely get a 256 gig um ssd now the size of the bar top depends if you want the 24 inch the price stays the same on there if you want a 27 or 32 inch there is the 32 inch option on there um if you want the usb extension ports this actually should be removed i've i've just removed it off my other post so you don't need to select that option you'll get that free now if you want hdmi output on your bar top you can select the hdmi output if you want our wii controller kit you can select the wii controller kit um and same goes with the 24 terabyte add-on now we're not doing the drives separately in a sense of we're not doing the 30 if you just wanted the games off the 32 terabyte you're not getting the game just a 32 terabyte drive um i'm trying to keep things as simple as possible so if you want the 24 terabyte add-on and you don't want the 32 terabyte you can get that but we're recommending that you purchase the 24 and then if you want both you have both of them at once which each drive upgrade is 300 quid each 8 terabyte partition is 300 pounds so for the 24 terabyte and 32 terabyte add-on it's a 600 quid add-on for the 16 terabyte drive same goes with the 40 terabyte and the 48 terabyte add-on beast ready drive so if you wanted to, se to select that you would select that now this is optional but i do recommend it if you want to use it with um upgrading the chris cool mods beast ready stuff um so all his extras um drives and systems i do recommend you get the pack tech 
Now, it is only 150 quid for the Pactor tech. You would get the wireless interface with that. You wouldn't get the wireless adapter and dongle. You wouldn't get the wireless dongle and the Xbox 360 controllers with that. If you wanted, sorry, not the Xbox 360 controllers, the Xbox One controllers. If you wanted the wireless Xbox One controllers, you would then select the second, second option, which is £350. It is a big jump. But the um, controllers themselves, you're looking at around a hundred quid for the pair. Then you're looking at around the adapters. Sometimes if the loan stock go up to 70, 80 quid. So I make a little bit of profit on that. Um, and then that will get you the full kit. So that's the two player kit. Um, with the Pacto Tech, the wireless adapters, all your cables, everything else. That's a full shebang. So basically the ultimate, ultimate bar top you're looking at around um, 4,590. Now this does actually need updating again because I do have um, a 4K stuff to add as well. Um, so 4K is an option for the cabinets. Um, let's go ahead and go back. So if you wanted that, that kit, you can add that kit if you wish. Now with the bar tops, you are gonna be limited of space. Um, you probably maybe get away with four hard drives inside. I would say three recommended. Um, if which would be your three 16 terabyte drives, which would be your 48 terabyte add on. Anything more than that, it's going to be too much of a squeeze to add too many drives. So I would recommend um, if you wanted the whole 112 terabytes, is to purchase one of our accessories, which would be our hard drive bay. And then you could order your um, your drives from Chris Cool Mods. Now Chris also sells drive bears, so you don't have to order them from me. Um, that's the choice of it. Or if you find the bear online, they're around. I make a couple of quid on that. If you wanted to purchase a five bear caddy yourself, you can do. That's entirely up to you. Um, I could probably leave some links in the description and um, once the video is finished and um, but you can't buy all this stuff yourself just look it up it, just find the name on amazon and buy the stuff yourself um i'm not looking at making a huge profit on these i've just got to cover basically my shipping and stuff like that um if we move over to chris cool mods website now he has a shark head beast ready drives so for the 16 64 terabyte in total which would be your four 16 terabyte drives which would knock the system up to 112 terabytes you're looking at canadian dollars so that's 3196 canadian dollars which works out 1877 pound 33 pence now that sounds quite expensive um it, it is a lot of money but when you look at what it would cost you for four drives from me, that's actually cheaper. Um, Chris is quite a lot cheaper um, if you look at it. And he also does a two-year warranty on his drives um, with free shipping and all that, um, tax-free tax shipping and stuff like that. So you're getting a bargain from him when you upgrade to those four extra drives. So like I say, it works out a lot, lot cheaper getting that um, extra 64 terabyte add-on direct from Chris. So let's head back to the products. Um, right, where were we? Let's head to the stand-ups. So we want to head to stand-ups here and let's just select the Sharkade Deluxe. Now, on here we have an extra option which should have been on the bar tops as well, so I'll update that. Um, if you wanted the full shebang, if you wanted the ultimate build, what you would do is select the 16 terabyte again with the RTX 3060. And then what you do is select if you wish to have a HDMI output, the Wii controller kit, a subwoofer, trackball and spinner or just one or the other or both if you wish and um, want to go full shebang on the um 24 terabyte and 32 terabyte add-on and then the 48 terabyte right so here we are now offering the rtx 4070 ti graphics card upgrade 
Now, this price does exclude the cost of the 3060 and obviously my cost buying the car in. I've got to make a little profit on that because if anything goes wrong with a seven, eight hundred quid card, where you think they're about nine, 900 quid on average to a thousand pound for these cards. So you're looking at, um, I've, I've got to literally, um, replace that if anything goes wrong within that first year so i've got to cover my cost so we've got it as a plus 700 on there so we deduct the 30 60 price off that as well so you're not paying the full price for the card um so you can select the rtx 4070 upgrade now it's probably not worth going the 4070 upgrade on its own without actually upgrading the monitor now you would get a 2k monitor um, I think standard with the 32 inch now, deluxe stand ups. Um, I think that's a standard throughout as 2K monitors. So if you wish to upgrade to a true full 4K, 144 hertz with the um, 4K, 8K, 4 to 8K cable and the RTX 4070 Ti graphics cards, you're looking at around 1300 quid extra. Um, that's that includes i think the monitors are around 700 quid as well so you're getting about a 700 quid graphics card 800 quid graphics card and a seven eight hundred quid monitor on top of that um then we have the pacto tech um interface again if you wanted the full wireless setup with the xbox one controllers you would receive two wired controllers anyways by default you would receive those two controllers but if you also wanted the xbox one official xbox one controllers added with that you can go with the full kit if you're not too bothered about wireless controllers you can just select that so in total you're looking at around 6450 quid right so i don't pay for shipping you pay for shipping um you just purchase from me the shipping crate so once i've finished your unit once i've completed your build okay you then book in the shipping i help you through the booking as well if you're in the us i deal with all the commercial invoices and stuff like that um i once i've finished your unit you'll know i can't be in touch i'll show you some photo content and it's stuff of the unit two seconds so i'll show you some photo content and stuff and i'll do a video of the unit and then what i'll do is i'll sit down with you over the phone and then i'll guide you step by step booking the shipping now if you want to do your own shipping quote you can come to any of these two websites there is other websites there um i've used all of them i don't trust any shipping company um, that's just the way it is but if you wanted a pallet shipping um, let's say on a stand up so what's our measurements on our stand up it should give us a rough dimensions now I'm going to have to build a shipping crate for this so I'm going to have to build a custom shipping crate for one of our deluxe stand ups so the way I, I generally calculate it I give a couple of um, inch or mil or whatever you want on the box itself so I generally create a box for a unit like this if it was to be shipped to the US. Now these will go on a pallet. UK shipping is 150 quid. Um, you don't have to buy a shipping crate. We supply the pallet. Um, you just um, have to pay the 150 quid shipping in the UK. Now if in, you're in the US, these machines are heavy and are expensive. So you're looking at very costly shipping prices. Um, like I say, it is a 150 quid for me to build the custom shipping crate. So we're going to go, let's say that's 60. So we'll go 80 centimeters to give a bit extra room. And we're going to go 1.7. Um, I think it's slightly smaller than that, but we'll go 1.7 on the box. I'll actually tell you exactly how big it is. Um, let's have a look. Is that the classic deluxe stand up? and it is 1.68 so i would squeeze that into a 1.7 so it's all nice and tight and secure so we'd go 1.7 so if we head to speed shift for a quote and go to pallet shipping and then i need a us 
actually I may not need a US um, postcode United States yeah so I don't need one so I'll put in my postcode so this is my postcode if you want anything shipped from mine AX392DR and um, then the length would be 170 because it's in centimeters and the width is generally 80 um, I'll usually go off a pallet width so on the big stand ups and stuff I usually go the pallet width oh no I apologize we there yeah yeah that's right um let's sorry let's have a look because we're gonna go width then depth no the width will be more I apologize so the width yes yes that would that would work on that it'd work it's because i'm thinking of a four player unit so on that it'd work so it would go 80 centimeters and then depth we would have to say plus 15 pallets always about 15 um, centimeters tall so i would add 15 on top of the 60 because these units would have to be shipped laid down um, it's too risky shipping them stood up on a pallet and sometimes it doesn't go through um, especially if it's flight it doesn't go through so you're looking at around 60 65 say 70 tall so we're gonna say 70 tall let's go back and do 70 and then the weight 150 and is it stackable it will be stackable we'll make it solid the shipping crate and then you're looking at around actually that price has come right down since the other day and um, you're looking at around 1200 quid that's 1200 pound i think in dollars like 1500 dollars something like that so you're looking at around 1500 dollars that's shipped through fedex tnt speed shift do i think they them do like a cheaper dhl option and then you have dhl which is only an extra 20 quid and i've heard dhl is a lot better than fedex um, but I don't trust any of them like I say but that's the only options you've really got so you're looking at around 1200 quid um, I think this one I would have to put the postcode in and I don't have a postcode but you would do the same on there you'd put them measurements in you'd actually select a pallet put your weight which would be 150 kilograms I think they usually say it's around 200 kilograms anyways because of the dimensions of the crate um so that's how you would calculate it the um four player stand-ups that's a different story same price in the shipping crate it costs you 150 quid i'll just check the comments if there's any questions as well while i'm here um uh, two moments get back to me video turn me phone down two moments For some reason it doesn't let us go straight to me video right so i've got just a hello there for the minute that's all right right so if you wanted a four player stand up um let's go to stand ups again actually let's go to four player so head to four player and let's say we want the teenage mutant ninja turtle so we want to go all out we want to get beast ready we want the hdmi output now each one of our deluxe stand-ups come with the gun for ir sensor holes now and um, they come with that as standard i don't sell the gun for ir um, guns so you're gonna have to go to r peg electronics for your gun for ir so if you want the gun for ir kit you would have to come to rpeg electronics now you would have to select one of raymond's products um where's his two gun set two gun kit i think he just does it you can select the gun con two or the gun con one with recoil and rumble this is usually the the usual um gun people go for um i can add as well the power adapters and stuff like that i think it works out an extra 60 quid or something like that with the power adapter inside and stuff like that so you can connect the guns to the power if that's what you want just hit us up a um, quote 
um, an email, sorry, and I can quote you on those extra accessories because I think on my, my website now I can't add any more options on there. So I may just add the that in accessories if you want to add the extra power adapters and stuff like that. If you want a 12 inch subwoofer, I have knocked up the price of the subwoofer to 80 pound now instead of 60. It may be 60 on some of the other products as well. So if it is, I'll I'll do it at the cost. I think it's that 60 quid's about the cost of a 12 inch subwoofer now you want to go trackball and spinner you want to go the 24 and 32 the 40 and 48 you want to go full 4k and you want to go the full packed or tech so you're looking at around 6688 for the ultimate four player um unit and then we'll not add that to cart yet because we'll do a rough cost of shipping like i say shipping options aren't cheap um if we just go back oh i should have kept it on that page really right let's have a look so if we go back put my postcode in and i think the last one was for the four player it was one seven five then it was um 115 is that right just double check so where were we so yeah so it's 1.1 1 .1, so i needed 115 by um let's 115 and I think it is 110 as well. I think I've got to update that measurement. So that's the rough dimensions of the crate, the shipping crate for the unit. So you're looking at paying 115 quid. Sorry, that's the wrong country, United States. <laughs> right. So it is going to be stackable. That's way over price. Um, let's let's go 170. Get a right that's yeah so it is 170 it's not 175 so on here it's saying 2700 which it wasn't that the other day it was around 2500 right that is way expensive but the previous customer booked it in through here which it went by ship and you were looking at around 1500 the price of the um, standard deluxe through this side here so you can go to this site, they'll do it by shipping, ship rather than air freight because they do air freight on here. But the thing is, is economy shipping's meant to be coming back. When economy shipping was in, you were looking at around 700 quid. I'm hoping it does come back. Um, but at the moment, economy shipping, as you can see by this website, isn't there at the moment. Um, I don't know if it was due to um, the end of COVID or anything like that, if there was a huge backlog of stuff, but um, economy shipping went down and uh, I've been told it's meant to be coming back, um, but when, I don't know. So you are looking at around three grand to ship a four player unit. Um, you would get it a lot cheaper on here. I would need a postcode um, or a zip code to put into this website but you can check that out yourself if you just put in those dimensions put in your zip code in there get a quote and you should get it receive a quote on there so you can check prior without having to ask me for a shipping quote but like i say i don't mind just send me your zip code i'll do a check see what the current prices are now when you order your unit these prices could change they could go up they could go down and um, that's just the joys of shipping uh, it's one of those things um like i said before it was a lot lot cheaper and i have been told that economy shipping is coming back but you are looking at a very expensive um shipment um it's going to cost you either way i know you can ask for quotes through shipley as well shipley is another option you can select hey chris dude 
Um, Shipley is another option. You can post up on Shipley. You can put in the dimensions of the crate and stuff like that, and you can get some quotes. I know the last guy that did, he got it around 1,200 quid for a four-player unit. Um, 1,200 quid, he got it shipped over to his address and stuff. Um, it's a little bit more complicated. I'm not familiar with Shipley. That's something you might have to look into yourself before thinking about purchasing a shark cage unit. Um, but like I say, once a unit is gone from my store, I'm not responsible for anything that does happen in shipping. Now, if there is any damage or if there's anything that happens and you've got to put a claim in, you'd have to put that claim in yourself with the shipping company. Um, if it's just something minor, um, let's say a grill or something is broke or um, the there's something mis displaced inside the unit, wiring being pulled or anything like that, I'm happy to sit there and guide you through getting it sorted. I've just recently rung up a computer shop in America um, and getting... Um, a guy out and stuff like that and getting some numbers for a guy to call to get someone out to look at it and i think it ended up costing them 70 quid for you know, getting some bits of wiring and stuff like that all put back into place and it all sorted so i'm always i always go the extra mile if something's not right um generally if something's shipped off, the graphics cards and stuff like that get moved around. I'm happy to help replace those and stuff like that or get those refitted and stuff. So I always go the extra mile to make sure your unit is um, working for you when you get it. Um, obviously, I package them. I foam wrap them, package them. I build a crate around it. I package peanut, the whole crate. So nothing external should get damaged but it is one of those things if they do mistreat it and um, if they drop it I, it's out of my hands now there is another option which i'm looking into and um, there's these stickers you can get or there's these gps meters you can get and um, basically it goes in the crate or goes on the crate and if that crate takes a heavy shock and um, heavy hit you, I think you've got like a little glass dial and say on the sticker and if that's broken then you can say look it I can't accept the shipment Um, it's got to be checked in thingy before you um accept the shipment itself and I think then it covers you for insurance as well it's just an extra um step to cover yourself in insurance I think those stickers work out about 40 quid I think the GPS meters are about 40 50 quid but i don't know i'd have to look into it a bit more it's just a little extra precaution just to make sure your goods go off and if you do buy a gps meter or anything like that um the gps meter i'll probably buy back off you for a slight discounted price and um, so i'll probably buy that back off you then i can use it on the next machine if there are if i'm able to use them multiple times so that that's an option like i say so let's um where was i um so you don't have to buy the pacto tech from me you you don't have to buy from me i do add a slight markup on that it's not much but i do add a slight markup you can order your pacto tech from direct from pacto tech and um, they are in canada so if you're a u.s customer you probably get it chipped to you for quite cheap um, and you'll probably get a cheaper direct from them and basically all you have to do then is once you put your order in and then you order that you can ship that direct to me i'll put that in your machine ready for the unit going off now they have some control interfaces if you're going with the um the, the two player or the four player now i would recommend you go with one of these boards here i think these two boards here accept the um interface so if we just select that you would have to add that to your card so if you're going with a four player you'd have to add that to the card you'd have to uh, possibly add the display now you don't need it but i recommend it and um, i've got one on my machine it just makes things a lot easier because if you go into different modes you can see exactly on the display your different modes now pacto tech as well also send your link to these displays 
so you can also still get these displays if you want yourself um but for 23 quid it's it's worth it you can buy that then this dongle here is the dongle master this will allow your wireless um dongle for your xbox controllers to work well through it so it'll hot swap your controls to enable your xbox controllers rather than your um arcade controls so that is a must that's what you get with your kit from me so what is the cost of that if we just go add the cart um actually we need accessories because these do things in different accessories so we go with the um you'd need two of these cables so two six feet cables they don't have any in stock so that's about 12 quid added on top there the firmware upgrade tool i've got one i don't know if you'll need it i haven't used mine yet i haven't tested mine yet it's not something i'm uh, i've sat down and worked with just yet but if it does need upgrading or if there's a new upgrade i've got one anyways i could probably upgrade it with i'd have to um i think the guy's name's lee um chris actually knows more about them than me We use stuff like that where I used to work. It did help with shipping in. Which one's that, buddy? Right, yeah. So basically, that's a full kit there that you need. All these extra wiring looms, I'll supply all the extra wiring and stuff like that. That'll come with your unit. Now, if you order them direct from there and send them to me, that's fine. I'll add all the extra wiring and stuff. But you would need these USB cables. I would have to charge for those or you would have to purchase two of those yourself. You can buy these exact cables off Amazon as well. And I think they're the exact same price. So... Uh, I think that's what I pay, about six quid. So let's go into our cart. So you're looking at subtotal 100. Ah, oh, it hasn't added. Hey, that's weird. Why is that added? I didn't add that. I added the... Oh, you get that free. So control interfaces, sorry, accessories. And let's just add that to cart as well, because that's not showing up. Is that showing up now? No. What's going on? Right. View my cart. So it looks like you get the upgrade tool anyways. Um, free. So you're looking at about 89 quid. I'm charging 150. So you could probably save yourself. Um, uh, But that's also. That's not including shipping. So I'm paying shipping on that. So I'll probably make 20 quid. If that on it. um, Including shipping. So you could order yourself get it shipped to you then ship to me you're probably going to be paying exactly what you pay from me direct from me so it's up to you you could order direct from them send it to me and um, it's probably going to cost you the same price is to just me to order it have it sent direct to me and so on now the xbox controllers like i say so that's only 168 quid i think i charge for the four player so i make myself about 20 30 quid um and then if you want the xbox controllers basically i'll make myself probably 50 quid on that and um, but you can buy your own if you want if you you don't want to buy the full kit just select that that's a pack dog tech kit and then you can go to amazon and order your xbox controllers i think the xbox controllers are 50 quid each 50 55 quid each and then the wireless dongle is about 50 quid as well um let's have a look how we got amazon let's just head to amazon um wireless xbox one dongle right that's not the ones i use um where's is that the ones i think they've come down in price No, that does doesn't look like the one I've got there. Um, I think that's the one there. Twenty twenty two quid. They're usually about thirty quid. So it depends on like how mu much availability. So that's the ones usually there by, and then the Xbox controllers official. Xbox. 
Xbox One controller. So, you, like I say, you don't have to buy from me if you don't want to. You're looking at around 50 quid, 55 quid um, for an official Xbox One wireless controller. Um, I charge 200 quid in total. Um, so, I charge the full 200 quid. That's just in case there's any price inflation and stuff like that. So, like I say, you can buy your own. You don't have to order from me and you also don't have to have the controllers um, with the unit. You can have them direct here before you get the unit from me because the unit will already be configured with the two wired controllers. And if you want to plug in the wireless controllers, you just disable your arcade controls and then set that up. I do recommend you don't have to have it for the 30, 24, 32 and the 40 terabyte add-on, the Pacto Tech. It's only when you really want to go to the Retro Beast Ready, I do recommend it. Um, I recommend it anyways because it, it it's a brilliant bit of kit. It solves a lot of problems with um, feature add-on drives and certain games and stuff like that. Um, so like I say, you don't have to select it, but if you did want to go all out, I recommend it. Um, and that's it really for those and um, let's take a look see if i've missed anything in the store yeah microsoft dongle the white and green box i've got the little black one i think we're seeing there dude right so we do have a shark kid if you're already a shark kid customer we do have a shark kid upgrade drive option now we if you're on say the 8 terabyte we'll have the 16 terabyte add-on 24 and 32 terabyte add-on there now if you wanted to go to the retro beast which a lot of my customers already have the 32 terabyte add-on you can select the 40 then the 48 terabyte add-on that's a 600 quid and you've got the option if you want the Pacto Tech as well for current customers. Now, if you are a current customer, it is going to require you to rewire your control panel. It's not the biggest job, but it's not the easiest also. Um, it's You're looking at having to cut all your wiring and then strip it and then just plug it into the different ports. Now, depending on what unit you have, you might have to extend some wiring and stuff like that so i would recommend a crimp tool some strippers and um, some spades and stuff like that you just send us a message i can send you a list of components that you need um i'd also likely contact the local computer shop or you can yourself and ask them to come around your place and do the rewiring for you now a two player unit should only maybe take an hour a four player unit might take two to three hours um rewiring um, but as long as you're prepared beforehand and have everything set up and have the space to do it, you'll be able to do do it in the two to three hours, no problem for a four player unit. So let's head back. I think that's it. We do have an accessories page. Now, this is something I wanted to show off as well. Now, if you're looking at going with the 112 terabytes, Yeah, that'll work just by your local te technician to um, do it for a few beers, man. That, that's the way to do it. But um, I think the UK new call-out charge is getting ridiculous. I think you're looking at about 70, 80 quid call-out charge in that new. Um, US, I know a guy just paid 70 bucks, which works out to be 50 quid. And I think it was uh, a few hours, which is, you know, that's that's cheap. That's real cheap. But um, yeah, so we do have a RAM upgrade. I was running out of um, space to add more options on my products, but you, it isn't needed, but it is recommended for the next gen titles if you want an extra bit of RAM. Um, 40 quid's probably what it cost me, about 35 quid, and then about three, four quid shipping is for a stick of RAM. Now you can order a stick of RAM. It's super simple to install on any machine. Um, the control panels, you take the bolt out the top and you just find the slot, you plug it in, that's it. Uh, make sure the unit's off. <laughs> make sure you haven't got the unit on when you plug a stick of RAM in. 
Um, it, like I say, it's super simple. You can buy your own stick of RAM, plug it in the machine. Most 16 terabyte and um, 16 gig RAM machines that I offer um, have the spare RAM slot for an extra 16 gig of RAM that will upgrade you to the 32 gig. Now, if you're going with a 4K build, and you want the extra RAM, just come to this page here and add to cart also alongside your build. Um, like I say, we have a separate Pacto Tech controller option there as well. Now, the Retro Beast setup. Okay, if you're going to go full out the 112 terabytes, right, you're going to need this. Or something similar with the motherboards I use though. Um, I'm going to have to use the M.2 slot. Um, I don't have a spare PCI Express slot on the motherboards I use. That's because the graphics cards I use are cover the PCI Express slot. They're just too big. Unless I use a ribbon. I, it is possible to use a ribbon. But what I'd probably do on a stand-up is I would use this board here. Um, this board here would then allow one two three four five six more drives to be mounted inside now you do get four inside the units um if it's a stand up you get four ports already so that would be your um ssd your os ssd you you'd get your 16 your 16 terabyte add-on your 32 terabyte add-on so that'll be this 8 16 2432 so that's two drives then the 40 and 48 terabyte retro beast add-on so that's three 16 terabytes in total and your um os ssd that would fit all four of those drives then this device here would allow for your all p q r and future drives if you wanted it from chris cool mods anything after that you're likely gonna have to plug in through usb if it's possible and um, let's be honest 112 terabytes is ridiculous enough but that will give you the op q and r then you've got two extra spaces for an extra say is it 150 terabytes in total and um, so yeah you'd have the extra space there at least for another two drives for future proofing your machine and um, the SATA cables basically are charge what it cost me you're going to need um some extra SATA cables if you go with those drives if you get them from chris cool mods and you are plugging them through usb he offers a caddy anyways he does offer a five bay caddy you can purchase from him um with your way the Data cables, the SATA cables, stuff like that. When you order your machine from me, if you order up to your 48 terabyte, those come free. So you're getting those free. It's just if you add the extra drives, you are going to have to purchase this. I'm sure Chris could probably put one of these up on his website as well. If you were going to add the drives yourself at a later date. And we do have the five bay brackets, five times brackets. Um, basically, I have some pictures of these that wouldn't let us put some pictures up. You've got two options for brackets. Um, I've been using some of these lately, just L brackets. Um, I've been using those lately um, for getting the drives closer in the control panels, the four player control panels. You can order these here, which are that product there. So basically you can order those ones. I think it works out five of them for 30 quid. It's a cost to me. It, I'm not charging you anything more than what it cost me and that's these hard drive bear brackets i generally use these in the stand-ups and stuff like that and um, they do make the drives a little bit wider and um, so you can't get the drives as close so there would have to be some moving around inside your arcade but this would only be for customers that don't order the full shebang straight off if you order um if you've already got a 32 terabyte build and you want to add some extra drives that's a different drive options there i could probably send you some links as well direct to the drives drive beers themselves if that's what you want um i'll just 
I'm just offering them on the website, make it easier for you. So if you're going to go with the 112 terabytes, you would have to order at least some of these. You'd probably have to order a few of those cables as well, but you'd only need one of these and I'll probably charge you eight quid for the five five cables i think it'll cost us more i may lose a bit on that i'll work out the cost anyways but um you would have to order some SATA cables some extra SATA cables and um some hard drive brackets as well so it's it's it depends which ones you want if you want the l brackets that's total for 16 quid that's a, a big bunch of l brackets i can use um to mount your hard drives inside the unit so you would have to select this option if you are going to go from the 40 terabyte all the way up to the 112 terabyte so when you go to chris's website you just come to the beast shark aid page and then let's have a look he's got his games list there where was it let's go back to home beast shark here page and there's how i've just had the there's my store he's got his games list there i've just had it up and um, was it from your home page chris right um ah there right it was on the home page so what you'd need to do is if you want the whole 112 terabytes once you've ordered your machine from shark Aid, you just come here and order the 64 terabytes and then i would you just tell chris to send them to me um, I can make sure they're all mounted in your machine ready to go. So Chris could send them to me. You just order your drives there, add to cart, and then you'd have your whole um, your whole 112 terabytes ready ordered. Like I say, Chris will send them to me, and once I'm ready to start your build, your drives will be allocated for your system, and then I'll just add those in ready for the machine to go off. Um, if you're already a customer, just order your drives from Chris, have them sent to you, and then you can mount them inside your machine. So I do have some updating to do. I've got to add some more um, drives and stuff like that. Now, with the Shark Aid Ultimate Deluxe Control Panel, so let's go to the Deluxe Control Panels. There's only one way you're going to have all those drives added right you are going to need a two bear drive and a five bear drive okay and or even a four bear drive you could order yourself a four bear drive it'll work out a lot cheaper now if we wanted the 16 terabyte um then the full 24 terabyte add-on then the 48 terabyte add-on and then the packdoor tech don't have to have like i say the xbox controllers um, you're looking at around 3850 that's all out 48 terabyte add-on the Pacto tech that's our plug and play kit now i would give you i would add the two bay drive ready so you'd already have a two bay drive external caddy ready for your 32 and 24 terabyte 16 terabyte add-on and then your 48 to 48 terabyte 16 terabyte add-on as well so you get free from me a two beer caddy and the two beer caddies are let's have a look in accessories so you're saving how much is that 40 quid that's roughly what they are um it'd be 40 quid for a two beer usb caddy now you would need at least a four bear external caddy for the um opq and r drive from chris cool mods so you're going to get four extra drives you'd need an extra four bear usb caddy okay um i'll probably recommend having the two um drives running off the um one and then the four off another one um i haven't got the four bears up available but i'm sure you could find a four beer caddy or if you wish for me to purchase one i'll just get you a quote i'll do what i cost i'm not looking at making pennies 
off hard drive beer caddies and stuff like that i'll just do with that cost if there's anything wrong i can send it back and so on and so on um i'm like i say i could order those off amazon um at, at, at whatever it costs um let's have a look on amazon actually for beer hard disk drive so you're looking at a bit of 100 quid on the first one then 890 quid maybe is it usb free yeah so you're looking at about 90 quid okay and that does say it only supports 40 terabyte so it might have to be a bit of trial and error to see which drive beers are the best but like i say 80 80 quid um i I'd, I'd do it at that cost from amazon amazon's easy to send stuff back if it needs to um so i'd do it at cost of that 86.95 so you would need one of those when you order chris cool mods drives so with the ultimate deluxe control panel so all in let's have a look so ultimate deluxe control panel all in 16 terabyte 32 terabyte add-on 40 terabyte now you can't upgrade to the 4k version and um, the four player the two player unit sorry doesn't have the option for upgrading to the rtx 40 series cards at the moment the 40 series cards are still a little bit too big for inside the control panels they're just too too long and um, they do have a 40 series card coming out which is i think pny or palette usually do a single fan gpu and um, i think they release later on they usually do once that's released i'll check the pricing and i'd likely drop my prices for to allocate those cards same goes with if they're the 40 60s and um, once the price drops i'll just allocate i'll probably do the 40 60 instead of the 30 60. so that would be your full 48 terabyte add-on then the pack door tech like i say we'll just exclude for the moment the xbox one wireless controllers and stuff so you're looking at 3850 and then we would add that the card and then we would look at chris's drives so what's that in pounds let's have a look where's my so 1000 so let's do calculations so that's 1877 plus 33 this isn't always 100% I've noticed when I've done Canadian and US before when a customer's paid it's worked out cheaper not what it said on Google so I'm just going off Google um so 1800 oh where am I and then we want to go f plus 3000 850 plus i think it was what was it 86 quids here right so in total if you wanted to order the shark ultimate deluxe control panel and and the 112 terabytes with the caddies and stuff like that you're looking at around just under six grand for the full kit that will get you the full retro b setup and the shark set setup with your hard drive caddy stuff like that like i say you can always add some xbox wireless controllers but that would have the wireless adapter and stuff like that ready with your pacto tech so i'm offering the pacto tech full pacto tech kit stuff like that ready um and i think that's about it um four player units the four player control panels which i've got the creep show beside us we can just fit in all the hard drives so the four player arcades let's go to the four player control panels so we can fit all of the drives inside these now this one's already 4k um that's without pedestal sorry um do i have one with pedestal don't know why i haven't got the other option on there but um basically if you want to order the pedestal or just a control panel on its own I can deduct 500 off for without pedestal 
and then you will get the four player kit with that with the RTX so it can be upgraded the RTX um, 4070 now alpha fan mod on our control panels so it's an extra hundred quid for the fan mod itself and um, that gives you the extra cooling on the back and stuff for these control panels because you're gonna need it and um, those 4070s do run quite warm and on the control panels they need to be have that extra cooling on the system and then you have the option if you want trackball and spinner on there um, and that would knock you around 5668 pound um, that's just for the up to the 48 terabyte and then you would have to add your extra on for your um your retro beast drives as well so you're looking at another couple of grand on top of that as well so let's go back and that's it really i thought i'd show off how to yeah uh, there is there is ones there that i've seen but i haven't seen any stock in anywhere of them um i know there's been a couple released and stuff Um, i was mainly looking towards a 4070 rather than a 4060 um but then i'll, I'll probably add at cost at the extra cost on um for the 4060 if there is any available if i can get my hands on it and what i could do now is go to ccl and then go to 4060 and then we have and non in stock and the all dual fans um so the all dual fans these ones aren't likely going to fit in um so it's got to be the single fan ones so that's that's a big rundown anyways like i say you're gonna have to factor in your shipping crate now the shipping crate doesn't have to be paid until you've completed until i've completed the unit you can book in your shipping crate now before if you wish to Um, i'll just order your crate or the wood for your custom crate um once your order comes in so i can order them in ready or if you wanted to just pay that at the end you can now like i say the cost of shipping depends on your unit so let's have a look actually the current price because i've shown the expensive pricing for the units let's go with the current price for the control panel so 75 50 37 so to the united states 75 50 37 and it is 20 kilograms now the you'll see a huge pr price drop and actually has gone up an extra tenner so it's 150 quid roughly 147.05 and then 150 quid for the shipping crate sorry 100 quid for the shipping crate so 250 quid here for the shipping to um the us um uk i am offering free shipping for the control panels uh, for free shipping um for the control panels throughout the uk um like i say the stand-ups are 150 quid shipping within the uk i supply the pallet and all that stuff i hope that has all made sense um like i say you don't also have to order all chris's drives if you're not interested in the O drive or the P drive or the R drive, you don't have to order his drives all at once. You can order them all individually. So if I just go to view card, I'll take that out. Um, let's go back to this sale itself. I think you've got them listed on the drives, haven't you, Chris? Um, Beast drive, let's have a look. So yeah. I, I would imagine chris has 16 32 48 so you just select the drive you tell them what drive you want whether it's the o drive the p drive the q or the r drive you just tell them what drive you want and then you don't theoretically need a four or five bear caddy for the control panels if you just 
wanted for the control panels the um 40 terabyte add-on and then an extra drive we could just add a free beer drive or just a single external if you wanted um th that way you just get the single external caddy you'd have the two beer and um, caddy for your 32 and your 40 terabyte add-ons and um, that'll be in the two beer drive and then you'll have the external caddy obviously if you get another drive you're going to have to get another beer caddy because you won't have enough usb 3.0 ports on the back of the unit i think you've actually got one two i think you've got three on there on the back of the control panels um so you might get away with having three lots of two beer drives if you wanted um which also probably read a bit better and quicker from each drives because these drives when on usb like to put themselves to sleep um and then if you're running like a four or five beer caddy and one drives asleep and it's trying to wake up and you've got two drives trying to load at once because obviously we have our os drive and our hyperspin drive running as i'm and it's jumping in between those drives so if you're trying to load into the p drive after just coming out of the um d drive it it's going to have that drive asleep it just may, means that drive can wake up and another drive on another caddy can wake up around the same time as well so they're not always falling asleep if that makes sense what's that the games pair drive Uh, to, to, to stop the drive sleeping it's just mainly from usb if you've got a stand up um you, the thing is is you don't want too many programs running in the background i'm not sure of any software that'll wake up the drives each time from usb you're best off um if you're having a unit is having a stand up um because it's all going to be hardwired now the issues i had about the drives sleeping the other day the weren't sleeping it was one of the drives weren't reading properly which was the old drive but when they're installed internally they don't really go to sleep internally they're always reading and writing and stuff like that and it's quicker read speeds and stuff um so it's best to have them um internal but if you haven't got one of those units and you've just got a control panel then it would have to be on usb there's nothing really um yeah true it does it will keep them um protected but to be honest and they're made not to, not to sleep though aren't they in, in a sense so they're made to be running all the time and if you're stopping and starting it all the time you know what i mean but yeah looking at chris's um drives in his setup once you start ordering the retro be set up i ho hope chris will be there to um jump in and correct us if i'm wrong but once you've got chris's retro be set up and stuff that gives you the option to be updated um i think chris offers a like a not a patreon but like a subscription basically you can get early access to stuff but you still get the free updates anyways without that you get your free monthly updates is it um once he gets everything set up on his end i believe you're gonna be getting the free updates from his system once you've got his system set up on your system um so basically you can connect to his server it'll scan your system i think is it sin recovery you use med um it'll scan the system and it'll update any issues that you have so if there is issues with games or if an emulator's updated um chris will keep all that stuff updated his end um i think he's just done some updates as well for me which is the um, mario kart and a few other bits and pieces and stuff like that so he's always updating he's always keeping things right his end and uh, he has tons of people connecting to his servers so you can connect to his server update your system 
just make sure on a shark aid unit i always say keep the internet connection off if you're not using it especially if you're not and also don't try playing online with games and stuff because it's going to start messing stuff up i only recommend you having the wi-fi capabilities on your unit or connecting to the internet if one i'm connecting to your machine to fix anything or two you're going to be updating from chris or three you know how to add your own games you know how to do your own media um and stuff like that and you know what you're doing you can jump on download all your stuff or um set up your media create your wheel art stuff like that which you need an internet connection for to get your artwork and stuff from google but other than that if you don't know what you're doing keep it offline and then we'll do a video of how to update each month chris has a discord and um, i think once you purchase from him you get invited to his discord and then you can go on there if you've got any issues you can post them up with chris i think he's got a um like an issues page there you can post up on there if you have any issues with the game he'll take a look at it his end he'll go through he'll fix it by the next month if it's not updated i'd imagine he just removes it or then we or just then waits for a fix yeah that's it yeah cheers for jumping on chris anyways um yeah if you're into purchasing an arcade or you're into um purchasing a shooting kit or anything like that chris also does machines if you're not even bothered about a game a p a arcade machine and you just want a pc drive you can buy the drives direct from chris you can also buy a pc direct from chris he's got these other pcs on there with the retro beast set up and all configured and all that stuff and um, so you can buy gaming pcs and stuff like that direct from chris as well so i'm just doing arcade builds and doing the arcade build drives from my end but if you're not too bothered about an arcade itself you can come direct to chris's website and you can purchase a gaming pc with the setup that has a controller set up and all that stuff so if you just want something to plug in to your gaming monitor um, and then just sit there with your controller you can go direct to chris if you want an actual arcade machine you can come direct to me get our um, upgrade drives and then you can purchase the upgrade drives from chris as well and um, he also does a light gun setup and i believe it's a two terabyte setup with tons and tons of games he's got a list there of the stuff he's got i think these work with your um is it the gun for ir and the retro shooter setup um it doesn't support sending <laughs> do not buy sending yeah i don't blame you aim track should work on all games um he does a wii remote in the wii bar stuff as well keyboard and mouse and so on and um, so he offers a gun drive setup as well um now his gun drive setup it doesn't mean it'll work alongside mine um his oh at some point as well i'll probably do a setup with him for the um alien fixed guns and um, we'll work on a drive together or something like that for him um but yeah if you want a shark shooter you, you wouldn't come and buy this drive you would have to come to me for the shark shooter um, and that will be configured with all the gun kits and stuff like that and i'm sure i'll be able to contact um chris for some um games that he's already set up and get get those the ball rolling on those the thing with the alien like gun kit the fixed gun kit it doesn't it isn't supported through every system it, there are a bit fiddly to get working with some systems we works fine um the anything that runs through demo shooter works fine so sega model 2 um mem and stuff like that techno parrot all the techno parrot stuff works absolutely fine with those guns um games like blue estate don't quite work yet with the alien fix guns um there is house of the dead remake though i think i have getting working with those guns in some other games as well um and you've got the true recoil and recoil and stuff like that with the shark shooter kit as well like i say this is our shark shooter kit so we do one without the pedestal one with pedestal now our pedestals uh, i've said in previous videos aren't cheap 
um, the cost of the wood at the moment and stuff um, for the actual pedestal is around 500 quid so I would recommend if you're in the US shipping as well shipping a pedestal off with the gun kit is going to be way expensive so I do recommend you go to game room solutions maybe for a bespoke pedestal I know a couple of my customers have and it cost them around 200 bucks which is a lot cheaper than what i'd sell you it it is cheaper wood it is it, it does look cheaper but if even if you want the extra artwork if you want us to design when i design your artwork just as a design a pedestal artwork for you and you wanted to send out the game room solutions and get it printed i, I could do that as well you know what i mean i don't mind doing that because i know it is expensive to send these units off with pedestals over to the US because of price hikes right up. Um, let's get a quick quote on a pedestal, a, a gun kit, sorry. Um, so I think it's going to be the cost of the bar top, isn't it? So let's say on average it's the 75, I think that's right, 75.50. No, it'll be the 37. 75 no it will be 50 because i've got a and i think it works out like 40 kilograms so you're looking at for the shark shoot out to the us you're looking at around um 350 quid shipping and then the cost of the shipping crate so 450 quid roughly okay um there is i haven't checked it yet i might try and I, I don't know if i can um is we do have a final finance option right it's not s the finance option you'll expect two moments um where most finance companies what you do is you get a link in you put in a quote for a f finance option on the website and then them a quote you but it would mean I'd have to get one for the UK and the US, right? Which usually you'd pay within two years or something like that. You pay like a monthly fee, right? Um, I can't offer that for both countries. I would have to pick one and it does work out quite expensive. If I don't get any orders in, I'm paying X amount a month for this finance option to be on a website, which it should do, but I don't want to have to be out of pocket if I... I don't need to be now we do have paypal um paypal set up on there now you should be able to do paypal finance no it should be set up if you want to check you can check just go to checkout and it should give you the option for paypal finance you should be able to get it through there if if they accept you but i do believe it's over three or four payments something like that so you pay like so much now so much later and so much later on i think it works over like two or three payments something like that the finance option that's the only option i can myself personally offer um i can't do any other finance options basically if you get the paypal finance option i get paid in full you pay paypal if you don't pay paypal them chase you up i don't have to chase you for any money because i would have already been paid um we do still have the obviously a cancellation charge now if you pay via bank transfer cancellation is pretty straightforward if you get it before i order the parts now if i order your parts i'm gonna charge a cancellation fee because i'm pulling out those parts um, I haven't to pay out, out of the, for those parts out of my own money. And some of these machines, if you're paying like um, ordering a five, six grand machine, I'm pulling out two, three grand for parts that I don't need at that time. And if 30, 40 people do that at once, I'm, I'm, I'm basically screwed. So you will get a charge if I do end up ordering your parts. Now, with the Stripe payment, bank transfer payments, I get charged either way so if you do pay on credit card through our stripe there is and you decide to cancel straight away there is likely going to be i think it works out a five or ten percent charge but i wouldn't charge you more than what i 
cost me but it is gonna whatever it's gonna cost me it's gonna cost you um i'm not in the business of losing money if someone does decide to cancel straight away um so you've got to make sure yeah it's what you want if you want to purchase a machine you've got to make sure it's what you want um because if you do cancel then i'm gonna to have to charge a cancellation fee now like i say bank transfer is fine if as long as you hit me up straight away and go look a sharky i didn't want to order that i wanted to order this blah 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 if it's another machine you wanted to order, that's fine, because all I do is amend your um, invoice, and then we'll just upgrade you. If you wanted to upgrade, or if you wanted to downgrade, I could send you X amount back, and then we could amend the invoice that way. It saves cancelling, then you're reordering and stuff like that. It saves a headache. I'd rather go through the little bit of mending your invoice than go through a whole headache sending money back, me get charged, me having to explain to you that I'm going to have to charge to you. So that's that's how I do business. Like I say, I build to order these machines. I, I don't have a big warehouse I can stock these machines in. I don't have a big warehouse I can stock uh, all these parts in all at once. And if I'm getting bombarded with parts and stuff like that all the time and people are cancelling the orders, it's, it's just one of those things. So that's an, basically the nitty gritty of the whole thing. Okay. Um, like I say, you can come to the website if you want to check out the finance option through PayPal. Just go to checkout, see if um, PayPal have that option on there. Like I say, I haven't tested it myself. PayPal's told us that it should be there. So the option is there. Like I say, it's not the best finance option, but it is an option. If there's any questions, ask them now in the chat so I can um, answer them now. Um, basically, I think I've covered everything. I think I have covered everything. Um, and hopefully this video um, helps with a lot of questions people do generally have to ask. And then obviously I have updated all the different products as well, um, which does help. Now, if you're going to go, let's have a look. I want to just check as well while we're here. Um, Stand-ups. Now, if you're going to go with the Ultimate Deluxe, like I say, you will get the gun for IR sensors on the unit ready. So if you upgrade the gun for IR at a later date, you've got the sensor holes there ready. It would mean... What's that? talk about shipping how to plug what do you mean dude i just wanted to add the 40 terabyte not the 48 retro beast ter um, hard drive that's fine if you just want the 40 terabyte tell us what unit you've got um and then just select that so if you if you haven't got a unit from me then just select the 40 terabyte and make sure you select the 32 terabyte add-on as well. You've got to have the 24 and 32 terabyte add-on. Now, I could probably do just a 40 terabyte add-on and not... Because a 40 terabyte add-on is just an 8 terabyte drive. They're all working 8 terabyte partitions. So the 24 terabyte add-on is 8 terabytes. Then a 32 terabyte add-on is another 8 terabytes. The 16 terabyte is obviously our base drive and our, our D drive and our E drive. So that's one full 16 terabyte drive, which is our D and E. Then our F and G are the 24 and 32 terabyte add-on, which is two 8 terabyte partitions. And then the, um, the 40 terabyte is an 8 terabyte drive. And then the 40 terabyte and 40 8 terabyte add-on if you want the two together is going to be one single 16 terabyte drive i hope that makes sense it's a, it might seem a bit confusing but it's pretty straightforward man so if you haven't got the if you haven't got a shark age unit then you wanted to just select up to 40 terabytes then and, and you wanted the trackball you don't have to select the trackball if it doesn't 
if you don't want that, you just select those options there. Don't want the NVIDIA 4070 upgrade and you don't want the Pacto Tech. Now, it is recommended you have the Pacto Tech, but you don't need it for the 40 terabyte add on. Um, so you'd add the cart that would bring that kit there up to 4,500. And that comes with a Wii controller kit and so on. If there is something you want, though, I always offer a little, um, a, a little bit off and stuff like that. I always offer like a discount code or something. Know what I mean? I think we've got to be fifty quid off at the minute. So I always do little special offers. Just let us know. Um, if you're gonna go all out, I'll probably knock some money off as well. If you wanted the full shebang, know what I mean? If you wanted the whole lot. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't need the pack though just for the forty terabyte mid. It's recommended, um, but if it needs any configuration for one or two games to support the um, Zinmo controller, then I would have to add those configurations and then update it for those games, because um, not every game would support the Zinmo controller, um, the arcade style games, anyways. Um, but you do get Xbox controllers w with it, wired controllers with it, and um, them would work anyways. The 40 terabyte is just all PC games at the moment, I think. The 40 terabytes all PC games. Um, the 32 terabyte has our large collection of Switch on. Um, if you wanted the mega collection, you would need the 48 terabyte and then Chris's because Chris has the huge collection of Switch. He has like 6,000 plus in total of Switch, but I have around 250 Switch games on, on the 32 terabyte drive map. And I think I've just added, I might have just added on the 32 terabyte mario wonder and stuff and i think luigi's mansion is going on there as well luigi's mansion 3 does that make sense i'll do a games list anyways i've, I've got to update the games list and i know I haven't done it yet, but my games list on the website redirects to the wrong games list. But I'll do a games list and watch me videos. I show off. I've got so many videos where I show off all the games. And every time I've done like the 32 terabyte or the 24 terabyte drive, I show off all the games on those drives as well. Um, because it's sometimes it's a bit daunting looking through a list of tons of games, especially on the um the main partition which is our 8 terabyte partition because there's just so many systems and games just on that and um, once you go for, to the 16 terabyte and up it's mainly next gen pc titles and um, ps3 collection um, ps5 collection pc plus games and um, pc mod games so it's just big collections of stuff of single system sort of thing so you might get like pinball ps3 and switch on one drive and then um yeah just messages on whatsapp buddy well I'd, I'd probably just give us a call um through the day sometime i'm better on the, just speaking on the phone i can explain it better than message and stuff but like i say take a look at me videos and just check when i've released 24 terabyte add-on and you'll see the different games and systems basically your base system from eight terabytes that's ninety-eight thousand games right that's all your retro systems your mega drive super nintendo playstation 1 2 and a small amount of free 16 terabyte i believe i don't have it in front of us but i believe the 16 terabyte has maybe some next gen pc titles and some extra stuff as well then i think the 24 terabyte is a large collection of ps3 um and some other stuff next gen pc titles and so on I, I, i'll have to double check because i can't think off the top of my head dude but yeah just send it give us a shout on whatsapp and that you've got me number have you 
Do you have a shark head unit or are you looking at buying one? Because I don't recognise the name, that's all, dude. What doesn't give you the option? Are you just looking at buying the 40 terabyte drive on its own? That's an add-on drive, man, not the... So if you went to, just went to the website and ordered... If you haven't got a shark age unit and just ordered the 40 terabyte drive, that's not going to work unless you've got an arcade machine from me and it's only going to be eight terabytes because you can't go let's you'd have to go to retro beast ready and then it has a 40 terabyte add-on there but that is only going to be 300 quid and that's going to be just the add-on drive to your shark age unit are the metal gear solid All right, yeah, yeah. Um, yours is a thirty-two terabyte already, isn't it? So yeah, just go go to here, select that, and then add to cart. Oh, it doesn't let you. Ah, right. I'll update that. What I'll do is I'll I'll update that on my end. I'll update that tonight for you, and we'll go from there. Um. Sh Upgrade drives. Let's have a look. Have I added it to? Right, I'll add it as an option on here as well. So you can add each one. But if you've already got the 32, I'll add the 40 on there as well. Okay. Sorry for the confusion, mate. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just the way I've got. Because when I do my store, it gives you add ons as well as options so i think uh, i think it's just because i've got that as a a must-have option because it should be up that's why because that should say optional look so i've just got to change that to optional that's that's easy to do i'll i'll do that okay mate so yeah like i say i hope i've explained everything properly um if like i say if i haven't explained anything correctly please hit us up and message um and i'll answer it as clear as i can um also you can hit us up at dean at uk if you have any questions inquiries as design i do mention this quite a lot but for design work it can be anything you want as long as i can work off a theme and i can find the images at high enough quality now, not every image I have to find high enough quality, but let's say, oh, let's say if I, you wanted a Silent Hill 2 machine and there's only like five images of Silent Hill 2 that uh, look half decent, I've got to be able to make those images into one image. Oh, I've got to be able to make that a rounded design. If you've got a stand up, it's probably five images. It isn't going to do it. I'll download hundreds and I mean hundreds of images I go through for designs. Some designs I might only use two or three or one image, but generally, especially big machines, I use hundreds of images. As long as I can work with those images, generally I can make something cool. And even if it's low quality image, I can usually make it super high quality. But if I can find high quality images, I can make them super, super high quality images and so on and so on. I could take a day to do a design. I could take five days to do a design. Um, it all comes part free part of the um, design. Nothing's agree. Nothing's printed till you're 100% as well agreed on the design that i've given you if i send you a design and you're like ah, i'm not quite sure about the color scheme could we change it to this if i can i will if i can't change it off it's not going to look right i i will say i'll say look it's not going to look good you know what i mean it's it's going to look crap um but i do recommend this what do you think and 
not every time I'm 100% agreed with customers and stuff like that. Like I say, the final decision's really yours. Um, if I'm doing a Transformers design example for you and you did say, actually, could you do a um, let, let's go jungle design, Sharky? Then I don't mind. But if you then say, oh, could you do a Halloween design? Could I say a Mortal Kombat design? Could I, you know what I mean? I, I won't just keep changing it over and over. You've got to have an idea in your head at least. Obviously, if there's a design you're looking at and I can't then do that design because there's not a lot of artwork for it and we can't come to an agreement on that, then maybe we can change it. We'll change it until you get it right. I've been doing this for years now, and I've always seemed to get it right with customers. Know what I mean? Uh, every customer seems to be happy with all the design work, so... Is the pack door needed for the control panel um depends on what one you go on what drive you're going with if you're looking at upgrading for the future yes if you're just looking at sticking at the 32 terabyte and the 40 terabyte no it's not you, you can do without it but i do recommend it. it it's worth every penny and like i say you don't have to order it direct from me you can order it direct from pacto tech um I did cover this before, but if you weren't here, you can order your kit and stuff from Pacto Tech. You do need your accessories, which are these cables here. Um, just two of these cables, but they don't have any in stock. And you likely need that kit there, weigh the two-player kit, not the four-player. So you would go to their control interfaces and you would get this two-player kit, a 2000 and T for the control panel. And that would at least get you set up with a Pacto kit. Does a ton of stuff, mate. Um, so basically, it's to avoid any hot swapping. It turns every controller, arcade controller, into a Xbox controller, basically. So the support for most PC games and stuff like that, most games, it just it's there. The support's there. It, you don't have to do any configuration for the games. Like um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. I've got to do a custom configuration for that. For the um, Zinmo controllers to work correctly for that. Or just use controllers. Okay. Um, with these you can enable disable controls and stuff like that. Let's head into their resources page. And let's check out the manual for the two player unit okay now them have some shortcut keys it does they do say you've got to have um extra stuff wired i believe extra buttons wired okay so these extra buttons here do different modes see so you can have like a turbo mode so you can set turbo buttons and stuff you can have a button to enable instead of um, the the arcade sticks being analog sticks, they can be D-pads. Now, Tekken 7 is one of those games where it will work on the main menu as analog controls, but when you get into selecting your character and stuff, it's got to be the D-pad you use on the controller. So I had to do a custom config for um, Tekken 7 for these um, Zinmo controller to work with that game. Okay. Um, basically, that you just hold a button and it'll change it to D-pad mode. Right. You hold a button and it'll change it to turbo mode. If you just wanted six button layout instead of eight, which you'd probably not use. I wouldn't use it myself personally because you've already got eight buttons. Don't have to just change it to six button mode. There's no point. But the options there. If you've got a four player unit and you want twin stick or even two player unit and you want the left stick to be your left analog and your right stick, your player two stick to be the right analog for the game. If it needs that for a game. Like, say, God of War, if you wanted to play God of War. Not that you would do that. You wouldn't play God of War with the arcade sticks, but it gives you the, the option to. They also have a disconnect mode, okay? 
So there's a disconnect mode which disables the arcade controls and then you just sync up your Xbox controllers and then them will take by default. So in any system, if you prefer to use the Xbox controllers rather than the arcade controls, you can disable the arcade sticks and then enable just the controllers. And then you can also use wireless controllers with this kit as well. Um, if you buy the wireless dongle for the Xbox One controllers and the controllers. I believe you can use other controllers as well, like the 8-bit door controllers and stuff. So, so if um, you're basically wanting to play, say... Um, the N64 and you wanted to play with an N64 controller the 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 door controller you can plug that in and it should recognize config and set it up with the controller as well and use the that systems type of controller if you've got a um, SNES 8-bit door controller and you want to use like the SNES controller on the SNES games you can plug it in a SNES controller and so on and so on and so on so it allows you to add other controllers as well um, and them to recognize with the system also i haven't tested all those controllers out yet but that's the whole idea of it um though this gives you the option to have buttons wired up multiple buttons i wouldn't be adding like another eight buttons on a control panel it does have a shortcut page so you would hold for eight seconds Say the back button, player one, and um, the back button um, for player two for slow analog. So if you've got an analog 360 control, which you wouldn't have on the um, Sharkade control panels, those con those joysticks just wouldn't fit in the control panels. So you, those modes wouldn't affect you. But if you've got a four player control panel or a four player stand up and you've got a 360 analog um, arcade stick, then you can change it to fast analog, slow analog for slow walking and fast walking, that sort of thing. You can turn off disconnect mode. So holding player one back, player two back would turn off the arcade controls. Um, and then you'd sync up your controllers to work just with the controllers for the system. If you wanted to enable them again, you would just hold the back button player one and it'd re-enable your arcade controls and resync your arcade controls. That's what this little display here is for that's what that display there is for basically what that does it'll tell you on screen so i'd connect that to your machine if you've already got a shark head unit you'd have to drill a hole in your cabinet for this to go in it's like an extra buttonhole and that there little display would tell you what mode you're in and stuff like that i don't think you actually need it but it it is worth having because it'll tell you exactly what mode you're in if you've changed the mode and stuff like that so it'll tell you exactly what the board's actually doing um for four player units you can actually change player three because that's how i have my arcades mapped up my four players i have three on the left one two then four on the right okay so one and two is in the middle you can actually swap them around so it's one two three four if you wish as well um if i go back to the control interface um not the accessories resources go to the 4000t pdf you have a lot more features so let's head down and you have a lot more shortcuts my phone's going to die as well so i'll have to stop the stream soon because i won't be able to read the comments um let's have a look where i've went past it there it is so i think is that the one this is 4000t it is isn't it i think they've updated there yeah because that looks different right so basically is that right i think they've changed it i think that's the one there so if you hold back player one it'll do fast analog if you hold player one start and do slow then if you want to change it to d-pad it's player two back um for two player mode which is a four how i have my four player set up is in two player mode it's three one two four then you can if you want to one two three four going across the panel you can hold back player three then twin stick mode like i say you can have like player one and two as two analogs so 
let's see if you wanted to set up um smash smash tv right smash tv uses two analogs basically you could set it up like that generally i've already the config for that so i already have player one and player two player three and player one already config for the two arcade sticks and so on so you'd use two arcade sticks rather than the arcade sticks and buttons and so on there's loads of different modes like i say um on there and basically you can do all that from the control panel buttons so you just hold a button for so many seconds and it'll put you in each mode okay so i think like i say i've covered everything i possibly can um if you wish to purchase a unit um just hit us up to see if there's any special discount codes just hit us up an email um if you're looking at ordering a unit i don't do discount codes on accessories and stuff like that um because as you've seen through the video i don't make really much markup on them um basically on each build now i'm just making the markup on the um upgrade drives um i make me a little bit on the upgrade drives and then obviously if you order the rtx 4070 i've got to add a little bit on there because it's so expensive um if i've ever got to replace that card that's my profit basically gone um because if you you have your machine for a year i'm gonna have a nightmare trying to send that card back because it takes so many months for us to build your machine i've already had that card in x amount of months and if anything ever does go wrong and i've got to replace that card for any reason then that's my profit gone so i've got to add a little bit of markup like i say okay um right like i say that's it hopefully i've answered all questions and um make sure you like share subscribe to the videos make sure you also go ahead on to chris's website as well and check his products out like i say he's got a ton of cool products on there he does light gun drives for pcs and stuff like that he does um the beast drives he does his old beast setup as well and um, so if you just want a gaming pc or if you just want to plug your drive into a gaming pc he has all that set up there ready for you um me i'm just selling arcades with the 48 terabyte add-on up to there if you want the upgrade drives the op q and r drives and then future drives later on you'd have to order them direct from chris's website chris would then once you've purchased the upgrade drives chris would send them to me for me to put them in your machine if i'm currently building your build um if you late in the video just go ahead go back check out the um the check out the whole video make sure we listen to everything on there because it is like i say we've got our accessories on there if you're going for the full shebang from me you are going to need these accessories here you're going to need the m.2 expansion and stuff like that if you went if you mark down you're going with the whole 112 terabyte ready and you were going with the 40 terabyte and the rtx 40 70 ti and stuff like that i would likely throw this card in free anyways that would be your 50 quid off you know what i mean so i'd i'd throw that card in free the sata cables would come free anyways with your 40 terabyte and then i'd add the extra hard drive brackets and stuff like that free as well um and yeah just just to remind us on as well like i say chris's drives is a bit cheaper than mine um in total um and he offers a two-year warranty so on any of his drives you purchase for the shark head build he offers a two-year warranty on those drives i think he offers free shipping and i think it's tax-free shipping as well um within europe i'm not sure about the uk because we're out of the europe but i'm sure he does it throughout europe and across america and canada um like i say two years warranty is ridiculous for what the drives cost and stuff like that that's in the service he offers is 
ridiculous price it's 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 good price i've had a few people contact us saying oh his drives are really expensive it's because you're ordering like 100 terabytes of drives they're not cheap they're, they're going to be expensive and mine are actually more expensive than his in in total when it comes to across the different drives obviously i do offer um a discount when it's from the 16 terabyte and stuff like that and you are getting so much off because that's included in your build and um, but when you're buying the upgrade drives like the 24 32 terabyte add-on the 40 and the 48 terabyte add-on that's my drives in total will cost more than his drives um, and also he's doing the free monthly updates the support and everything it, the support he offers is ridiculous you know what i mean it, it the amount of um work that he puts in in the background i've seen it myself it's crazy um he's the best in the business for the service he offers he is the, the stuff he offers in the background is is crazy okay so and that's why shark it's partnered up with chris cool mods so i'm gonna stop rabbiting on um i hope i've covered everything um i'll probably still get about 30 40 emails asking the same questions but it is what it is make sure you like share subscribe to the videos hit that notification bell and i'll catch us in the next one and chris i will see you later dude bye